Hey gang, hope you'll uh, forgive the exclusion of my head from this particular clip. I'm sure it's a welcome break for all of us. I had had a couple of uh, emails uh, inquiring about a song from Michael Tiersen's record that we just finished up at uh, you know toward the end of this year. Uh, it's a cover of a Daryl Scott song called This Beggar's Heart, and it's a song that was one of Michael's first choices to cover on that particular record. And the uh, the first day we went in, uh, when we when we sat down to do the session, uh, we picked out this particular song and, and the second take that we did is a take that you hear on the record and while Rob Hyman from the Hooters contributed some accordion and some melodica and there were a couple other overdubs afterward, the crux of the song is Michael's vocal and this particular instrument right here. Uh, it's a Weissenborn Hawaiian guitar. Now Weissenborn, uh, not unlike Cool Whip or Jello or Coke, uh, has kind of become a brand name that's become synonymous with their most popular creation. Um, the original Weissenborn guitars uh, were made in the 30s and they're almost prohibitively expensive now, plus they're very fragile, but a lot of builders have stepped up to the plate and, and started creating replicas, and this is one of them. I bought this guitar from uh, Phil Madeira, who plays in Emmylou Harris's band, and he's a, a session guy in Nashville as well, and uh, another utility multi-instrumentalist, just a phenomenal player. Um, Someone from uh, New Orleans had built this guitar for Phil, and Phil sold it to me about uh, probably about a year and a half ago. Um, it's a great instrument. Um, the song that we're going to cover, uh, I'm just going to play through a verse of it. It's a it's a good choice uh, for anyone who's just starting to pick up the fundamentals of whether it be Dobro or Weissenborn or Lap Steel, um, because this particular song has you know most of the major positions in it. Uh, the main tuning that most people seem to gravitate to toward uh, on these particular instruments is an open D, uh, but of course that open D tuning with different gauges or different strings can be any number of things. I tend to gravitate toward open E a lot myself, and this tuning is the G version of the open E, and it's, it's tuned to uh, what would be a G bar chord if you were to play it on a standard conventional uh, guitar. So it would be G, D, G, B. So And the, the unique thing about these guitars is that it's hollow all the way up to the headstock where the headstock joint is here and it gives it a wonderful open sound. So the positions for this beggar's heart are of course the open G. And then the C is at the 5th fret, the D is at the 7th fret, and then the two relative minors are played at the ninth fret and at the 4th fret, although we only play the bottom three strings. For the E minor, for the B minor at the 4th fret, the same thing, just the bottom three strings. what it sounds like if you play it open. Typically for that chord I only play the five strings. The G on the top isn't very friendly in that particular chord. But I'm going to play through just a, a verse pattern of that song so that you can kind of get a feel for what the song sounds like and, and for the instrument. So it's...
And there you have it, the Speggers Heart and the Weissenborn Hawaiian guitar. Thanks for watching.